Oxford's final days of preparation took them back to school, Bradley College. No reflection, of course, on the academic qualities of a side containing graduates researching into diagnostic imaging or electronic and structural material engineering. At Radley, there may not be any aerobic dancing or cucumber face packs, but the school grounds do offer other forms of relaxation. Two Welshmen and uh, two people who are new to the varsity match, uh, Steve Barkley and Andy Moore. Not entirely new for you, Steve. No, I was on the bench last year. It's a uh, great occasion, but uh, I got the atmosphere, so I know what it's going to be like next Tuesday. The pace of the varsity match is always the uh, thing everybody talks about, Andy. Uh, um, the Stanley's game was fast, but... But uh, we were, the first 20 minutes of the Stanley's game was, uh, I thought, played a ridiculous pace. But uh, Mark Egan, the captain, uh, told us after that that uh, compared to the first 20 minutes of the varsity match, it was uh, almost snail's pace. So something to look out for. You're in quite an unusual position. You're playing against Andrew Booth of, of Cambridge, but of course your club mates back at Cardiff. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it should be interesting duel. I've played against him quite a few times now and pretty much looking forward to it. Welcome to Twickenham, where the ground is at its brightest best and will be at its fullest for the 109th varsity match. Good afternoon to you from our position high in the new north stand, which has just been completed in time for this great occasion and means that there will be a capacity crowd of 57,300. Now, that's the largest crowd for a varsity match since 1960. Occasion, the, the tension... Uh... Perhaps the greatest for many of these young rugby players in their whole rugby lives. It is that traditional second Tuesday in December. And an occasion where it's perhaps the midfield of Phil de Glanville and Rory Maloney. A solid front five and watch out for the significant influence. It could be very important to Oxford Hopes. Glenn Taylor on the open flank. Question marks over goal kicking and of course a lot of pressure on new halfbacks. And the Cambridge side led by Simon Holmes, one of six old Blues, having had a more successful season. They have the key strengths at half-back in the Welsh pairing of Andy Booth and Adrian Davies. The